Hello guys, welcome to the um, little Killzone 2 walkthrough of the demo. And yeah, so uh, I got my PS3 back and I kind of celebrated it by getting Killzone 2 for the exclusively for the PlayStation 3. I was going to do a Fallout 3 review, but I thought Killzone 2 was a little more important. Since I only rented Fallout 3, I really didn't know much about it. So, let's see. New campaign. Yeah, so we're going to be skipping the Fallout 3 review. What's really cool is how, see the thing how it shakes? Look at this. It shakes due to the success of controller movements. Watch. See how it goes up or down? It's really cool. So, if this can hurry up and load. As it's just... I mean, this game is freaking amazing. And that's a, it's a little too loud. So, yeah, this is a little bit of walkthrough here. Just to show you guys, and just me talking and seeing what I, how, what the demo, you know, tells you. Okay, so here we go. So the graphics in a game are like the first thing I noticed. You, you might, you might ask yourself. You might ask yourself, you know, why doesn't everyone just aim down the side just like Call of Duty? The thing is, it's basically the same controls as um, Killzone 1. You know how you aim down the sight pressing the R3? It's still aim down, um, it's pressing R3 will aim down the sight. Now the cover system is something I really just wondered, how are they going to make this work? And yeah. So, let me take this RPG, take down this thing. Take my assault rifle back. Take these, take care of these people. So yeah, I mean this game is... I. Of course, it's known for its great graphics and everything. I mean, the graphics are probably the best out of any game on the market. But the thing is, it's intuitive gameplay and, you know, how it's able to throw you into this action-packed thriller is what really sets the bar for this title. Take care of this guy. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Don't wanna die. Don't wanna die. Please don't let me die. I really do not wanna die in this. Come on, come on. Oh my god. So as you can see there, I just died. Um, Quick look at how you die. And everything. This game is actually... I mean, just the load times. Look how quick those load times are. To render, to render a gameplay like that, and just to able to make the graphics just work so quickly. I mean, this game definitely uses, I think, all all the power of the PlayStation 3. So, yeah, if all the games looked like this, then I think the PS3 would have got much more sales and would have just been, you know, much more popular. Because most games today are not using the full power of the PlayStation 3. And yeah. So you might ask yourself, how does this cover system work? Well, crouch is the L2 button. And you'd go up to a wall and just hold L2 and you just automatically crouch. And yeah. So, um, most of you probably most of you probably, you know, pre-ordered Killzone 2 and were expecting to get the demo and then you got there and you guys were like, 
Well, dude, I didn't get the demo because, well, they said they were out and everything. Um, that does happen. It also happened to me, but I was able to get the demo for free and just download it off the PlayStation Store from the UK market. Now, all you have to really do is just make a new account, you know, like a new user on a PlayStation 3 and sign up for a PlayStation Network. Just make sure that you're in UK. So here we go. Second end of this bar I secured. And let's see, you get the sidearm, which is the nice little pistol thing. Look how well these people, look how well just the whole game is. Look how, look how real this guy looks. So I'm with this guy. Um, I don't know what his name is. I forgot. Okay, Garza. So Garza is his name, but look how immersive that is. You just climb up and you help your friend up right here. Mostly in games when you flick a switch, um, it, the switch will just go down automatically. There's no fingerprints, but Killzone 2 helps that because everything's like in first person, basically. Everything's in first person just like Mirror's Edge. Now, this is the first game to actually, you know, be in a cover genre. And this is the Hellgas Mean Assault Rifle, as you can see. It's an actual, it's actually a really nice gun. Um, uh, yeah. So your characters give you credit, your friends. They give you credit for doing really well. They'll say like "nice shot" or you know, "take it easy" or something. I mean, they're basically just giving you lots of credit for you know, whoa, for being really good in the game. And I don't know what that screaming was, but yeah, this game's just really immersive. I'm so. They did a really good job rendering the engine. It, it it really is true that no other game looks like this. So let's go down over here. Kill these guys right here. Whoa. Sniper? Oh my god, sniper. Snipers here. Take that! And yeah, this game is just like probably one of the most, in, you know, intense first-person shooters out there. Whoa. This game, you just gotta try it out for yourself. And yeah, I play this multiple times. It's, I'll just say that it, this demo is like basically everything and more than what I expected. As you can see, there's close encounters. And I got him from there. Let's pick up some more ammo. And yeah, so my friend here is going to hack this terminal right here. Once he gets go, go come on. Hey, shoot that, not me. Go hack the terminal, please, so you can get this over with. And yeah, so I guess uh, I'll see you guys in the next part. Okay, at the end. Okay. <laughs>